Hey guys, Champion Productions coming back at you with another Transformers discussion video. I hope you're doing well this morning, this afternoon, or this evening, depending upon which time frame you are watching this video. Either way, I greatly appreciate you tuning in for today's discussion. And in today's discussion, I'm going to be taking a look at some brand new leaked images of a new Transformers Rise of the Beasts Optimus Primal roleplay mask. Now, this is really neat and really ironic because I literally just got done going through some of my old figures and uh, toy bins and found at my General Gravis Star Wars mask, which is really cool. <laughs> but taking a look at the first image we have of Optimus Primal's mask here, it's looking pretty decent. Honestly, this is going to be a really unique concept because this is definitely kind of like abstract without having the rest of the CGI model to go with it, but it definitely does give us our first look at what Optimus Primal will look like in the new Rise of the Beasts film. And honestly, it's pretty cool looking like I, I like the design and whatnot I it's definitely interesting looking on a human face there's that but I mean as a mask and as a kind of first look at Optimus Primal's gorilla mode face it honestly looks pretty cool uh, there's a lot of sculpted in detail on the mask and whatnot some blue paint applications we got a nice maximal logo right there on the forehead and honestly it looks pretty good some more molded in details and all the paint and whatnot looks pretty pretty good like there's not a whole lot wrong with it definitely think it gets a lot done i definitely think it's a unique design uh be curious to see what he looks like in the actual rise of the beasts film but in terms of the mask here it, it's pretty cool i definitely do like the concept looking at the inside of the mask here we can kind of see what's going on with the uh, internal parts of the mask and this is really interesting because this is a transforming mask so we can see here that there's some robot parts visible uh, we can see the arms, the head, the feet, the thighs, and whatnot. And we kind of get a first glimpse at what is going to happen here in the transformation of this figure. And we can even see in the left corner here, we can see, or on the left side of the picture here, we can see the instructions, which are done in yellow. So hopefully those will be a little bit nicer than what we've been getting with Studio Series instructions and whatnot. Uh, but taking a look at the, the internals of the mask again, it looks pretty pretty unique how this is all going to kind of transform and whatnot. And I'll get to the robot mode here in a second. But uh, it kind of concerns me in two areas. A, how comfortable this is going to be because there does not look like there's a whole lot of face cushioning going on here. And if this is just plastic rubbing up against your face, you're going to want to wear this for about all of 2.5 seconds before you want to take it back off. But uh, yeah, that and my other concern is will this thing be able to hold up being put onto your face? Like are the tabs strong enough to be able to hold this whole piece together? Other than that, though, I don't really have any issues with it. The internal mask is not the most important part. Uh, the external part of the mask is definitely going to be where it shines uh, in terms of actually having a mask of Optimus Primal. And so far, that appears to be uh, pretty good if that is accurate to the design of Optimus Primal and Rise of the Beast. Uh, but then we take a look at the robot mode. The robot mode, honestly, is really, really solid. Like, the robot mode here definitely is going to have a huge backpack. We can see all the parts are kind of piling up on the back but I mean as a robot mode this this is really cool like this is a really unique design now how accurate is this going to be to the actual film I don't know I doubt it's going to be as accurate as it should be but I mean this is a unique concept in a jump for Hasbro this is definitely something unique and something I think that'll get a lot of people interested in uh, this particular product here just the fact that it transforms into a role play piece but Overall, the robot mode definitely looks pretty solid. Again, we can kind of get some more hints at how this is, how this is going to transform. Uh, we can see that the chest here definitely becomes the uh, part of the forehead in the mask mode. And then the shins definitely become the uh, chin for the mask mode as well. And then we can kind of see that the thighs definitely are on the inside of the mask uh, as well for the transformation. But, I mean, the rest of the figure looks pretty solid, like... Not perfect, but I mean, this is a pretty cool figure. Like, I, I, I think the concept's unique. I really am intrigued by the concept of this figure. Again, it's not the best looking thing we've ever seen by Hasbro by far, but I mean, it looks pretty good. The head sculpt's looking pretty Optimus Primal-like. I can, I can go with that. I can definitely, I can vibe with that. The Optimus Primal face check. Check, that's Optimus Primal. The overall aesthetic of the figure, it, it's Optimus Primal. They did a good job taking the mask and making it into a transformable representation of Optimus Primal. It'll definitely be unique, uh, a unique thing to see in hand. Um, be curious to see what the final product, if this goes through any other changes, will look like 
in hand. Uh, overall, it looks pretty good. I definitely got to give Hasbro credit for this one. But guys, let me know what you think of the Optimus Primal Mass. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think it's eh, mediocre? Or do you think it's going to be flat out bad? I'd love to hear your comments and opinions on it in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champer Productions, signing off.